Well, bonjour folks, I'm back. Uh, it's cooking with Kirk. I'm Mark Kirk, as you all, as you well know, okay? We don't have to go down that road anymore. Okay, I told you we're gonna brunoise some onions, okay? Might as well. Doing nothing else today. So, it's nice and easy. Brunoise, fine slice. Basically, little tiny cubes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just a posh way of saying, uh, finely cut, right? So as you can tell, most of my videos, I normally say the, the, the layman's term. So we're gonna, Cut this up in little itty bitty pieces. There we go. I'm sure people who uh, probably will love that one. Anyway, let's get back onto it. So, nice and easy. Uh, it's up to you how you do it. You can either do the easy way, cut it in half, like that, and then go with your knife down this way. Oh, most people start. So you're going to do this side, and then that side, and then that side. All right. So if you, if you want to see it properly, all right. I oh, know it's a bad camera angle. It's cooking with Kirk. So, um, how are we going to do this? So you take it all the way, nearly to the edge. Okay. Get the thinnest knife you can, and then you're laughing. And then, literally, it's not to the end. If you go right to the end, you will ruin it, wouldn't you? So, you have to use your noddle on this one. So it's that way. Don't think I was built for speed. And then, folks, okay, this way. The reason we're doing this way, some people don't, but when you get to the top, they'll be too long, so they won't all be uniformed. And for the purpose of this demonstration, all we're going to do is the stuff that we won't use as brunoise, as the fine, finely diced stuff, right, finely cut, um, we can use it for anything else, all right? So, like that, two ways. And now all we're going to do, make sure your knife is very sharp, people, okay? So we're just going to just very, very, very do that. And then you'll be able to see in one second how thin these are. All right, look at that. Get now that is fine dice, okay? These bits are absolutely tiny. Use them in whatever you want. And obviously the same thing if you want bigger uniform pieces. Just make the uh, incisions just a little bit wider from each other and then on the other side. So that's how you do it. I've seen people just do like that and then they look at the camera like that I'm doing now. But unfortunately uh, I've lost fingers that way. So, anyway. That's a good one. Thank you very much. I'm Mark Kirk. See you later.